Hello friends, welcome back to CAD practice. Today we are going to construct a 3D model of turbine blade in Autodesk Inventor software. So let's get started with today's tutorial. Go to new, take a standard part in millimeter and go to create. Now take a 2D sketch and select the top plane. This will be the exit plane. Rotate the view. Select the circle command and select the center here make a circle of dia 100 mm go to 3d model extrude extrude it up to height of 80 mm take a symmetric extrude and ok now rotate the profile go to origin and now we will work with xy plane for the right view go to create sketch rotate the view go to view change the visual style to wireframe okay as we want to make a sketch inside the profile go to sketch here take the line command make one reference line here escape select this line Make it a reference geometry. Go to dimension. From center point, this line will be at a distance of 20 mm. Okay. Escape. Go to project geometry. Select this line and this line. Okay. And escape. Select the projected geometry also. And convert it to construction profile. Now take the arc command. We will take here three point arc and from here from this center point make one arc till this projected point ok and drag it here similarly make one more arc and join till this point and drag till here now escape now go to point command and here Track the mouse and track the center point of this arc. So center point of this arc will be this green point. So click here and place the point. Similarly, we will place the point on this arc center point. Okay. Now escape. So we have two center points. Now go to dimension. Select this point and this center point. Here the distance will be 5 mm. Similarly, this point and this construction geometry and here also distance of 5 mm ok now finish sketch now from here go to 2d sketch once again as we have make a profile in this direction so now we will select the xy plane so xy plane will be the front view Go to line command from this center point, make a straight line and escape. Go to dimension, give this dimension as 100 mm. Escape. Okay. Now we have two sketches. So this will be the top view. This is the right view sketch, the inner profile, and we have the Second sketch as this straight line. Okay. Now go to 3D model. Take sweep. So the this will be the profile to sweep, and this line will be the part to sweep. Okay. Now here we will give a twist angle. So the twist angle will be minus 30 degree. Okay. Now you can see if I rotate it like this. So here go to right view. So here the profile is been twisted. If I make it zero, so this will be like this. So we have make a twist of minus 30 degree. So the profile will be in a twisted form. As these are turbine blades, so there is a twist profile. Now go to view visual style, change it to shaded with edges. Now you would be able to see the proper profile and press OK. 
okay so this will be the profile okay go to home so this will be the side blades like this you can see now we will give the corner radius go to fillet take here a fillet radius of 0.5 mm select this top profile and select these side profiles this side and this side and apply okay now take a radius of 2 go to edge selection and select this bottom edge okay and apply exit now we will make a pattern of this so go to circular pattern select sweep 1 fillet 1 and fillet 2 all three features we will select now go to rotation axis and select this as rotation axis here we will define the count of 10 and ok ok so the new profiles will be made now this is the base now we will construct this cut profiles for mounting for cut profile select this face go to create sketch first we will give a depth so go to circle command from this center point make a circle here escape go to dimension change the view ok from outer the dimension of circle will be 5 mm so here a thickness of 5 mm will be left go to 3d model extrude select this inner circle and here take cut we will take a cut of 10 mm here take 10 mm cut and ok similarly we will make a cut profile this side so select this face go to create sketch go to circle command make a circle from this center point ok now select this edge now go to dimension from outer this circle will be at a distance of 5 mm ok go to 3d model extrude select this inner circle go to cut this time we will take a distance of 50 mm ok and ok now we have provided this side cut and this side cut now we will make this mounting cut or the mounting hole so select this face go to create sketch go to circle command once again from this center point make a circle of dia 30 go to rectangle command and take a two point rectangle and make a rectangle profile over here go to dimension give this dimension as 20 or this will be 10 and this height will be of 20 mm ok so this will be a key cut so go to vertical constraint select this center point and select ok we will take here horizontal constraint select this center point and select this center point now go to coincident select this point and select this point so this is fully constrained sketch you can see here fully constrained sketch go to 3d model take extrude cut select this profile and select this profile now flip the direction and from here we will take all so it will be a through cut and press ok ok now you can see it's a through cut now go to fillet command take a fillet radius of 2 and select this outer edge and this edge similarly rotate the profile this edge and this edge select this inner also and here this inner edge and apply ok exit now go to the top view so this will be the top view of this profile go to home so this will be the side view with the twisted bl uh, blades now we will define the 
color or assign a material from here you can give a appearance of chrome polished okay so this will be the final profile so this was a basic tutorial to how to construct a 3d cad model of turbine blade in autodesk inventor software i hope you like the video if you do that please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you